called zero-based budgeting. You have to go and say this, how can I reduce my cost basis? Whether or not it's volume, right? Well, maybe because now we have our numbers, if we buy more, we're going to get a discount. Is there a way to increase profitability by your cost volume? So Francie, who is the CEO of my company, she realized that all the people said they were busy. So we have like eight or nine people who call people, you know, confirmation to come to an event, and, and they, they say they make four or 500 phone calls a day. But here's the problem. If only 10% of the people pick up the phone, right, that means, and on average you're spending two to, two to three minutes on one call, right, you could do 400 right before lunch. So what are you doing the rest of the day? Turns out they were not really doing anything. Now, the thing about people that are busy or that think they're busy, they always think they're busy no matter what. You understand? So they're not efficient, right? I very rarely said to myself, this person is way overloaded. Except Francie, because Francie has taken a load of a lot of things. But my employees, like at the, at the other levels, like they're not busy. Okay? So the problem is that they're not productive with their time. Okay? So we look at staff, costs, who's doing what. Also, when I have people, I ask myself, are they generating me money or costing me money? I'll give you an example. Tracy was not supposed to be here. Okay? Well, my, to get this whole banner to come here and a bunch of the things that we have, it turned out that it would have been 3,000 pounds, 3,000 pounds to ship things here. It's a lot of money. So Francie, and not me, and the event team said, well, the flight is 1,100 US dollars, so 900 pounds for her to fly. She has status on the airline. She can bring three bags, and we save literally over 2,500 pounds, right, about 2,300 pounds by bringing a staff member who brought. And by the way, it's a decision I had nothing to do with, right? It's not like I'd be like, had a meeting, I'd be like, you know what I mean? And that's what's called reducing the cost basis. And by the way, the problem is that if it was you, you'd probably think about it. When it's your people, they tend not to think about these things. So you want your people to treat your money as if it's their own. And by the way, that's why I tell people, my money's your money, so you better treat it like that too. Because everything you waste, right? And that's how Francie has that, that notion as well. 